Hello, it's NY Hunter, and I'm here today to show you, I'm very excited for this, uh, Optimus Prime. But this is War for Cybertron Optimus Prime Studio Series number three, as you see over there, and this guy. Uh, yeah, so War for Cybertron, I believe it was PlayStation 4, maybe PlayStation 3 also. But I played all those games, and they were made really well. The story was good, the animation was good, the transformations were good. And, um, yeah, I just really love the characters. Um, and, and, and yeah, um, this guy, of course, it's Prime. And I loved his vehicle mode, and I love the way he looks. He looks so buff, and he had, you know, his hand turned into a gun, and he blasted everybody on the screen. There it is. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I thought this guy was supposed to come out in August, and I ended up receiving him yesterday via Amazon, and I uh, was totally stoked and surprised. I didn't expect that at all. I usually see what you know, is coming from Amazon, but I, I don't know, I got busy and didn't keep track and then opened the box and here he was. Uh, so just really awesome. So sadly, one little thing about the box is um, because it's Amazon, of course, all the boxes get damaged. So there's a little tear here and um, yeah, that's kind of sad. But um, yeah, everything else about the look, the box, the character, he's got a matrix, all, all, of course he's got a matrix, uh, is just awesome. And uh, let's take a look over here. Of course, Transformers, War for Cybertron. Like I said, there's um, two, maybe three, I don't know. I think two games, but I don't know. I played them all and I beat them all and they were just a blast. I still have them upstairs in my um, entertainment center. So anyway, as you can see, there he is. And I'm really anxious and excited to bring this guy to you. Let's take a look. And there he is. Look at that. He looks buff. He looks bulked up he looks ready to fight and defend cybertron or escape cybertron uh one or the other of course um but yeah just really like it um he's got his cannon here axe here and the funniest thing is when you use the cannon you take off the arm and you stick it on his butt so i don't know make jokes of that uh, however you like but uh in any case um like i said it looks really awesome Look at the axe too, nice orange. I've been recently thinking about getting the new uh, Mastermind Creations, or I guess it's not new anymore, but I have like the, um, the, the Dark Optimus, or I forgot his name just now, but um, Nemesis Prime version. And then of course they came out with the new Optimus Prime version with a really sweet axe. And this is, this is okay axe as well. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I really, dig axes lately and uh, but anyway look at this he's got nice autobot symbols and um like i said um yeah he holds the axe quite well it splits here and it splits here in case you want to uh, reposition the axe in any way um and then here of course his chest opens up <clears throat> and he does have a matrix because the you know the thing to do uh, is always nowadays to have a prime or a hot rod or a rodimus with a matrix so yep you gotta have it and there it is for some reason it's this light blue color but yeah it's all right i guess i'm used to seeing like a uh, see-through gem or something instead but um anyway really nice detail there and then let's close close it up and yeah, let's look at his face really quick. That head sculpt is really quite nice. Um, I wish his eyes were just a little bit more detailed, um, but you can see, if you can see, uh, that it's a light blue paint in there. And so really nicely detailed actually. And like I said, um, with this character and the way he is, the gun uh, in the game, it transforms from his hand or arm. So it just unplugs here. Uh, quite nice detail there and then <laughs> and the part that makes me laugh is you stick his hand on his butt over there but but funny thing is you can't stick his gun there there's no peg there would you want to i don't know but you can't stick that there in any case um we can position him like so and then place the hand oh yeah there's a peg here see and then a hole here and we can just 
put that in here like so and it's kind of loose it's not the best fit but it looks fine and um yeah like i said he is really nicely posable actually <clears throat> and he looks really nice like i said bulked up and his head sculpt and face sculpt is just beautiful um let's see we'll put him this way and as he rolls around uh, the axe in order to reposition that you can take off this part and take off this part and then let's say we want to switch uh, hands or you know you can put this here and use the lower part as a handle if you want this part as a handle on his other hand you can slide that in mm, like so and it looks quite nice and hmm, like I said um it's got a really nice game feel um, as far as I remember the character I remember how he looked um, and yeah it looks a little bit airy here I don't know what to say about that um, I but but like I said he makes me happy this guy <laughs> <laughs> it seems just fine and um yeah nice big bulky wheels and um like i said his you can just basically give him any stance you want and he looks and brings back the memories of the game which is really cool all right so let's take this axe out and let's get ready to transform him all right we're back again he is off the turntable really nice look at his eyes there and face sculpt really easy transformation too I don't think we'll be here all day but um yeah just really nice uh, as far as his look and like I said we're gonna get rid of the axe now and uh, transform him and um, yeah we have to leave of course this arm and hand on there if you put the gun in there I don't think it will work I haven't tried it before but I don't recommend it and um, yeah once again pretty nice detail of the axe there and uh we'll transform him now so let's do it um let me zoom back a little bit i think this will be enough um all right so let's see let's straighten him out a little bit as is a good practice before transformation okay and um yeah so let's put his arms up like so mm -hmm. And then we'll pull his shoulders apart like so. And it slides very easily uh, for good or for bad. <laughs> and um, with that, we'll go for the hood next. Uh, flip that, flip this, and then turn it around like so. And then we're going to flip the whole thing this way i believe let me make sure it will only flip one way so if you do it wrong um it will be you know the wrong way and it's wrong uh, we flip it this way as you can see i tried to flip it this way but it doesn't work that way and you'll feel the pressure so fold it this way let's look at the other side and then yeah fold it this way and then we'll have the hood ready to go and then we'll flip that up like oh well as we flip it up we have to flip the whole chest piece backwards like so uh, all the way you'll feel it click like that his head will lean back over there and we can bring the hood and top down and see this um let me see there are pegs here and here from the top side pegs here and here and they'll fit in to the shoulders or or i guess with the back right here and there and then so you'll want to split it a little so you can put that uh, hood piece under and then push the two sides together and bring that in like so and then it fits pretty tightly and pretty nicely okay all right and as we're going through that now we'll do the flip of the waist and we will move the legs up 
like so. And then with these up like this, we can move the arms uh, back like so. And we want to position them in such a way um, that see this hole and this peg, you'll want to do this and that. And actually um, see these open areas, make those face outward too. So first flip that out this way, flip that out this way. So these empty areas or airy areas are out that way. And we hardly ever want to see that, but for this transformation, we got to do it. And then once again, we have this area that we want to meet in the middle like so, okay? And then now it'll be very easy to put this peg in this hole like that. And that is the way we want it situated at the bottom of the vehicle mode, okay? And then now that we've got this like so, we're going to flip these upward a little because they'll get in the way if you don't and then flip this this way we got those nice reds and blues and then as we have these out flip the wheels so they're facing the outside all right and as we do that um flip this up and flip this up they'll become like the top area of the vehicle and fold these in and fold these in. One note on these feet here, when you transform him back to a robot, um, sometimes my, this foot anyway, it like it gets caught and where it does the ankle tilt here, it, the foot pops off. So I don't know, you know, your mileage may vary as they say, and I hope that your feet stay on, but just be ready for that. And here we've got a peg here and a hole here. So we're gonna put those together like so. And now with this whole thing open like this and this whole area open like this, see those two holes here? We're gonna meet up with these pegs here and just swing the whole thing down. And if you have everything like this folded the right way, uh, they'll, all this air will be covered in a bit. So hold it as tightly as you can and then, oops, and then fold down from the hips here. And then once again, like I said, this should stay together. And then those pegs should hit those holes. And I guess it's the curse of the video. The first time was always, or is always the best, right? It seems, um, but yeah. Once you get those pegs in there, everything should be fine. But um, yeah, let's let's make these meet as well. This is the roof area. So everything is nicely tight together and press down here and press down here. I felt one go in. Yep, and the other goes in. All right, and then uh, then the, the lid or the uh, roof, bring that down and you'll see the pegs here, which will go into holes here. And um, then, you know, this part will close up here and same on the other side. It'll look real nice. So let's do that. We'll fold that in and position things as we should. And then this one's a little bit off. So let's do that. And this one's still a little bit off. So push down a little and bring this in. Push down a little, bring this in. Keep these tubes or exhausts up. And then push this in like so. And this in like so. And then, yeah, everything should be all right in the end. This one's in, but this one's not. Okay, there we go. The only thing in the vehicle mode that I don't like as well is you'll see this open air and the fists here. I wish they would do something better with that, but this is it. This is the War for Cybertron, Cybertronian truck mode, hot rod truck mode, as I would call it, because it looks like he could just go really fast too. So, and that is cool. Let's look at it a bit closer and see what we can do with the weapons.
All right, all, it's NY Hunter, and I'm back again. And like I said, really nice mode, right? I mean, uh, I got to slow down a bit. You probably heard my excitement, and I've probably been speaking a mile a minute. And if you're watching at two times speed, you probably can't understand a dang thing I'm saying. But anyway, um, like I said, I really like this character. He's a just a special addition to my collection. And um, I really like the Optimus Prime look, and I really like... The vehicle mode um really sweet look at this a nice big bulgy um wheels not rubber or, but yeah it looks a little bit uh it looks a little bit better than just plastic oh well, except for the, <laughs> that and then this part kind of gets on my nerves where the fists are showing there's no panel that covers it or anything that's kind of lame i don't know it could have had an ankle piece here the fold down or something like that but um seems like hasbro doesn't think their designs all the way through sometimes right and uh something is always missing but anyway as i just really happy with the design here of the vehicle mode and um, I enjoyed playing Prime as the character, as a character in the video game, and it was a, a lot of fun. So, um, yeah, let me show you some things you can do with the weapons. Um, once again, I'll just uh, go a little bit closer for you guys one time. But look at that, really nice silver, smooth look. No cockpits, of course, because this is a Cybertronian mode, so don't need no stinking drivers. So, um, really nice. I love the exhaust tips here. I wish they were chromed out, but <laughs> still really nice. And like I said, I hate this, but I don't know. I could, I, I would have thought that an ankle piece or a panel could have been up here and folded down over here, but I guess there's just a little bit of laziness on Hasbro's part. But anyway, we've got these two tabs up here, and with that, we can take his gun and place it on top like so, using these two tabs and on in the holes, and that can give you a really nice battle mode. Um, let's zoom in a bit. Yeah, just really nice. Um, this part is a little hollow for me, too hollow. I, I don't like that too much, uh, but look, it matches the back. Totally open. <laughs> But um, in any case, I like that look. Um, it's nice. Um, what else can you do uh, with this axe? You can actually add that on as well. Um, what you're supposed to do is open. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, with this axe, you're supposed to open it in the middle. Oh, can I zoom back? Let me see. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Open it in the middle, like so. And then you'll see like there's a there's short pins here that are supposed to be in here and it helps or supposed to help hold a little better but it's supposed to be another cannon I guess and this uh, square is gonna attach right here and you can should you want to go like this and I don't know if that's such a great look but here you go <laughs> and um yeah it looks like he's just carrying his axe on top um you can take a panel uh, or the handle off and maybe it'll look a little more like a piece of the weapon so that's something you can do also um let's see you can also um something that i toyed with in the last day i only had this for a day but Something that I toyed with, oops, is putting it the other way. Let me see. Get this back on. Get this out. And putting it this way. And, uh, I don't know, that's something. Um, Optimus Prime's, um, I think, Siege mold and maybe earthrise too uh the axe could be put on the back of the cab and it made it look like this kind of so if you like that you can also do that here um but honestly for me i probably will just uh remove it and um like this is a little bit too bare so i do 
like the idea of putting this cannon on top and probably will do so. And look, there's a little bit of hollowness here too. So I'd rather kind of cover that up if I can. And um, yeah, so that is the best look I think to me. Um, if you want also, you can keep the ax on the side as well. Um, like so. Uh, there is a port there, so <laughs> that part, nah, doesn't work that well. Um, this way? Eh, maybe, maybe. Let's see how it looks to you guys and, and to me on the turntable. But it's kind of like McFan's Toys Blitzwing, where you put the sword on the side and you know he's just putting it there for storage. And so this is kind of like that too. And those tabs are long enough, so actually this is a pretty good look. The gun is tilted up a bit and it looks like, eh, it looks like it could be a cockpit here for somebody. But remember, Cybertrodian mode, no stinking drivers. Okay, so <laughs> enough about that. In any case, um, let's take this off. And yeah, I like that. I like that tilt up. I'll probably do that from now on. And it just looks like he's ready for battle and just really nice. Um, yeah, what do you guys think? Um, let me put him on the scale, on the scale. He's a Voyager. I have Bulkhead back there. Let's do that too and see how he compares in weight. He feels a little light, so let's check it out. Okay, here we are again, and yet we've got the scale out, and like I said, it's in ounces. I've said it in previous videos. Um, this is a good time to compare maybe Optimus along with Bulkhead, both Voyagers. So let's see how they compare. Um, let's see. He is, oh, that's pretty good, 5.97 ounces. How many pounds is 5.97 ounces? So 0.37 pounds, 0.37 pounds is what she says. Uh, let's take a look at this guy, Bulkhead. Huh. What is 5.84 ounces in pounds? 5.84 ounces is 0.365 pounds. Ah, uh, so 0.365. So I guess it's heavier than Bulkhead. That's good. And then, of course, I forgot to measure the scale. I mean, the the scale. I forgot to measure the axe. So that's a little bit more. So it's in, if you think and believe uh, Bulkhead is Voyager weight, then yeah, Optimus Prime is also Voyager weight, and that should make us all happy, um, especially those who want value for their money. It is now 6.35 ounces. What is 6.35 ounces in pounds? 6.35 ounces is about 0 0.3969 pounds. So almost 4 pounds. Um, no, 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 sorry. <laughs> almost 0.4 pounds. Um, yeah, pretty good, pretty good, all right. So that makes me happy. All right, but that's it for today, I think. Um, this is C, not C, sorry. This is Studio Series, Optimus Prime from the War for Cybertron series. And um, like I said, I think it looks quite cool and he looks quite bad, all uh, right, as in good. So um, yeah, let's zoom in for one final look. And I really like him. Let's get this ax out of the way. Give him a stage all to himself. And um, yeah, I really like that a lot. All right, one of my, like I said, uh, favorite vehicle modes since I've seen it. And I'm glad they made it real. Apparently, apparently in the past they've made um, him f into a figure before, but I didn't know that and I never got it before. This is the only one I've got and so if you have the old one, let me know what you think in comparison. But uh, I like this. I really do. I'm totally excited. And after one day, like I said, I wanted to bring them to you. Hope you appreciate it. And uh, I know I do. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Leave a comment below. Uh, give me a like. Give me a subscribe. And check out Patreon. Thank you so much. And have an awesome night. And a good start of your week. Bye-bye.